Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. So today I want to talk about art versus documentary photography. I think that there's a large interest in photography right now, but from a gallery point of view, they're not so interested in documentary as they are in art. And my understanding of the difference is you can say you're a fine art photographer, but if you're photographing people on the street, it appears to the viewer as documentary. So the difference is if you were to photograph somebody mowing their lawn, that's a documentary photograph. But if you were to put the person outside, give them the lawnmower and create the scene, kind of like a Gregory Crudson kind of thing. I'll put a link to his work below. He creates the scene, then you're no longer documenting. Now you're creating, now you're an artist. He has a photograph of a car going down a empty street in the snow. The snow, it's a small little town. The snow had just fallen. I think that was a, as I read it, it was a exceptional thing where he had closed the street. He does large format photographs of the, he almost shoots like an art director and a crew of people to light everything. There's somebody standing in a window in the front corner of the store. That person is set by him. The car is driving down the road and that road is closed and then it happened to snow. So now the car is cutting the first tracks into the fresh snow. That was part of his luck, but also he had control of the whole scene. He made that scene. If he had photographed a car going down the street and a small town and somebody standing in that front window, it wouldn't be art, it would be documentary, which sounds like it's the same thing. But we have a real value on what comes from your mind. What do you create that you didn't have in front of you and you created and placed it? So you see uh, a picture of a person out hiking in a mountain trail or walking in a field, there's nothing terribly artistic about that to the art world. But make it a woman wearing no clothes and put her in a gas mask and suddenly, oh my God, that's art. Because you created it out of nothing. You created it out of your imagination. Your brain made that and your art and your tools and your creativity made that happen. I think that's an interesting distinction because I know as a documentary photographer and as an editorial photographer and a photojournalist my whole life, I lean towards documenting human moments. There's a story in today's Washington Post, which by the time you see it, it won't be today, but I'll put a link to it, on a photojournalist who went back to a town that he used to photograph in and shot one roll of black and white and how it reconnected him to photography. That is exactly what I feel when I shoot documentary work, I connect to the subject and I like that. But the person who is placing those people on that scene, the people who are creating the elements and it's not something found, to the art world that has more value. And I'm not judging that as right or wrong. I don't know that there's anything to say about that. It's just what, to me, it appears to be what is. The photographs that are in my local art galleries, especially the ones that feature photography, tend to want things that are created, things that aren't found. If they look like they're found, even if they were created, Crutzen gets away with it because he has so much lighting involved and the projects look almost fantastical. Or there could be a tree growing in the middle of the room or water flowing through the room. There's like elements that are fantastical and the lighting is always spectacular, the casting of the characters is always spectacular, and he's definitely an interesting study because he's shooting a large format camera, he's only shooting I think one or two frames, that's what I think I've read, I'm not sure if that's exactly true, but the idea is that he's shooting very little. He's spending more time creating a crew to set up the lights and to make the scene than he is in actually shooting it because he knows what he wants. Once he sees it, he just shoots it. That's the work of art directors. That's the work of him communicating like a little movie set. That's a real art. 
and that fantastical ends up being valuable to the art world, and I can see why, because his stuff definitely has a certain feeling and look that doesn't look like ordinary. So that's my thoughts on art versus documentary. I like both. I would like to see more documentary in art galleries. When you see things in old in museums like Robert Frank and Gary Winogrand, that's a lot of documentary. But it feels like a time has changed and we used to, you know, look to see in a museum the Dorothea Lange documentary FSA work and uh, Robert Frank and uh, Walker Evans and all of the people who would document America. But that doesn't seem to be the current in vogue choice based on what curators are putting in their galleries. At least that's what I've seen. And I'm curious to see if that title turn. Like I said, I would love to do a street photography display or work with a museum to do a documentary project and show documentary work. But they have to be open to it and it challenges what they're used to seeing as we just want pure artistic creation. All right, that's today's photography talk. I'd be interested to hear what you think about that. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching and happy shooting on Here's to Good Light.